All right, uh, I'm here uh, for the third year in a row to Overland Expo East and uh, just got parked. Uh, Jacob's not here with me today, unfortunately. Um, he's uh, at work um, at, at Joint Base Charleston. He's in the Air Force, of course. And so this video today is just as much for him as it is for you guys. But uh, like we normally do, we're gonna take a walk around uh, the Expo area and then we'll walk over to see where some of the uh, rigs that are camped are because that's sometimes where you see some of the coolest stuff. So this is uh, Friday, uh, the first day of the expo. So it's a little bit before lunchtime and there's a, a ton of people here thus far. So uh, based on what I've read, it looks like uh, it's gonna be uh, full of some uh, pretty cool things. So I'm excited to uh, get inside and uh, see what's going on.
Because our first quarter with you guys was... So far, there's lots of trailers and vans and a lot of Tacoma stuff just in this first uh, couple rows. And they, all the gear tents are over here too, so that's pretty cool. So there's actually room you can just chop off what's remaining there and you'll be able to out toward the back there looks like there's a cool old truck over here we're gonna check out
It's gonna take a minute, but if he, if he ever comes back, yeah. Yeah. it's gonna take a minute. Those problems. Yeah. Those are cute little straws. Are they good ones? Yeah. 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 Y
tire. And, uh, and if you look at any of these, imagine that and put it on steroids. These are 20 bucks. So, as the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Oh, 
All right, we just finished walking around um, outside here at the expo, and you know I wanted to take a walk uh, down um, where all the other folks are parked. So sometimes you can see some of the best rigs out here. So a lot of uh, what I saw today was vans. They had a lot of cool vans here. A lot of cool companies a lot of trailers out here today so a lot of times you'll see so different years you get different stuff you know a lot of times and the uh, this year there seems to be just a lot of trailers uh, they got some new vehicles concept vehicles um, I guess last year was the big Bronco year uh, this year um, it seems to be trailers or the big thing there's a bunch more vans here than there ever has been um, so that was cool to see too and uh, it seems like the camping uh, field has expanded quite a bit uh, since the last time we've got a bunch of uh, the big overland rigs here as well and uh, those are always cool to see because that's just a different level of uh, camping off-roading yeah. You don't often see that stuff around here. I've never seen one of them actually out on the trails that I've been on, but I know that they're big in other countries and things like that. So, one of the cool things they had a, an old Bronco that they converted into a, a diesel, so that 4BT uh, diesel, and then they had the old F100 uh, truck. Uh, that was super cool. It had the new uh, Godzilla motor in it. Um, I heard some mixed reviews about that motor, that it has some uh, oiling problems, and but it puts out a lot of power 
AV, um, American Expedition Vehicles has a big presence here um, this year. And I have uh, their stuff on the Jeep, so that's cool to see as well. Lots of Toyotas, Jeeps. It's just cool to see the different kind of cars that are out here. A lot of rooftop tents. There's a, a I think last year they had a bunch of uh, the folding tents that kind of opened up. This year it just seems like there's more uh, clamshell tents than there are. They're tra traditional kind of uh, Tapui style tent. A lot of full-size rigs out here. The Alu Cab's got a big presence here this year. This year they seem to have a lot of adventure bike stuff um, out here too. There's an adventure bike kind of testing thing that you can do. And there's a bunch of people here that have uh, the adventure bikes. And Emily and I have talked about doing that. I used to ride Harley Davidson, so um, kind of taking that to the off-road side, I think would be pretty cool. Just something always looking to expand or change or kind of be different. So you get different experiences kind of in the same place. There's an old Land Cruiser. I had an FJ40 years ago. Never looked that nice, but they're super cool, very capable trucks. So it's neat. I will say that just looking at all of the rigs that you know the vast majority of them are gladiators and toyota tacomas so i think that they vastly outnumber the rest of the vehicles that are out here That's cool. An old Land Cruiser 60 series. It's an old Vanna Wagon. Super old Vanna Wagon. It appears like almost all the vans that are here, they're all <clears throat> the pre-made ones. So the storytellers, revels. Well, I think that's going to do it from uh, the Overland Expo East 2023. Uh, there's a huge turnout here uh, for this event, and I've always enjoyed coming up here. Like I said earlier when I started, that Jacob wasn't able to be here, so I tried to do a lot of the videoing so he could see uh, kind of what was here uh, since he can't experience it for himself. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys got something from the walk around and uh, got to see some of the cool things that are at these expo events whether you're on the east coast or the west coast it's a great uh, event to attend uh, especially if you're 
you know, just getting into um, overlanding or into van life or you just want to get off road and do some things um, they're different than just going to a campground this is a great place to get ideas uh, meet talk to people um, look at what the industry is producing because each year they get more and more innovative and uh, yeah so hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up or a comment uh, consider subscribing if you haven't all right take care